All the other shorties have been like, down the cell, all the cell. You know, a month ago, it felt like it would never come. You know, in the beginning of September, I felt like, okay, it's like years away. And the days just felt like they were never gonna come closer. But here we are now, like two and a half weeks out, and I feel like it's starting to feel like it's going to happen. If in the first hand I, I lose half my stack, you know, I need to be able to bounce back and not be upset. You know, I think one of Russ's biggest strengths is his emotional calmness. You know, Russ is the type of guy where things happen and he's just okay with it. Like he he doesn't he doesn't really ride the emotional roller coaster, which I think is really key as a poker player. I was looking for a coach that I could live with, and it's not like strange for poker players to live together to you know work on their games. So um, I mean that that's the type of coach I was looking for that I could travel around with and uh, just kind of pick his brain to get better. I pretty much picked Stony Brook because I have everything that I wanted here. You know, I, I have the poker table set up, I have enough I have enough space to fit people, also the hotel nearby. So I, I had enough elements that I wanted to incorporate in our training that I picked Stony Brook as our as our base location. I have no impressions of Stony Brook. Uh, it seems a pretty boring place to be honest. I really have not done anything and we go to the same restaurant every night so you know, Stony Brook is a very quiet place. It's tranquil. We have a university here that's pretty well known. We have a, uh, a grist mill. We have uh, a, like a carriage museum. I've been there like once when I was four against my will, I'm sure. Two years ago, I had another decision whether to take a full-time job or become a professional poker player. And I chose to take a full-time job. And to be honest, at points, I kind of regretted not taking a shot at poker. Uh, I actually didn't have any idea who Russ was until I walked through the door. Uh, no. I had no familiarity at all with Russ. Literally none to my knowledge. I hadn't really had much experience like live with them. None. Actually. We've done two mock final tables and the first one I took second and then the second I took sixth. I, I really like the people we've brought in. Um, a couple people in in particular have been really helpful. Uh, Leo, Matt Berkey has uh, kind of challenged me on a couple ways I think about poker. No one here is not trying their hardest. You know, I, I think everybody here is committed to Russ being the next main event champion. About a month ago when I was home in uh, Philadelphia, uh, the mailman came up to me and asked if I was the one who made the final table. And apparently my mom's been going around town just telling everyone that I made the final table and asking if they know what the World Series of Poker is and just saying, yeah, my son made the final table. It's a little ridiculous. My older brother was a professional poker player for at least maybe two, three years, but I just never really was interested in it until college. Uh, I was a broke college student, and he sent me like $20 on Poker Stars. I studied actuarial science, which is to become, become an actuary, yeah. I believe Russ was an actuary. No, I have no idea what an actuary is. Um, no, I assume he was a professional poker player. I don't know what kind of actuary he was. I don't know if there actually don't even know if there are some types of actuaries. No, I've heard of the term before, but I, I don't know what the job entails. He was um, not an accountant. Don't call him an accountant. I'm like an accountant, I guess. Yeah, an actuary is like a computer without a soul, correct? An actuary analyzes risk for insurance companies. If you've ever seen that terrible movie, Along Came Polly, uh, Ben Stiller is an actuary in that movie. But uh, we really don't operate like he does. I mean, he's very simplistic. I've actually never seen that movie. I've only seen the previews where he gets like, he's playing basketball on the dude shirtless and he just gets like a face full of chest hair and sweat. No, it's really. This gave me a second chance at trying poker as a career. And I think, um, I don't think I'm going to go back and work full time. You know, if, if, if what I teach Russ makes him move up even just one payout spot, that's a half million dollars for him. That, that goes a long way, you know? As long as I make the correct play, I mean, I'll, I'll live with it and be happy. But I mean, 
there's a lot of pressure from all sorts of other people as well. I mean, uh, I'm playing just, not just for me, but like my family and my friends, and they're all really excited for me. He could play great, 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 make one bad decision, and it's over. To really visualize winning the final table. Um, I mean, actually winning seems as ridiculous to me as making the final table did, you know, a, a few months ago. So, it, like, it just seems surreal to me to actually win the main event.